Alright, so I'm gonna... This is last year, is that? Yes. So, giving you guys one of these examples as a good example as a, t as a problem that would be an appropriate test problem. Uh, real quick, all the homework problems from this last homework would be excellent test problems. Um, it really, t it really, the test your understanding of being able to calculate the flux and stuff at different, different geometries. Um, so make sure you study that. Make sure you study this this homework right now. So with, let's say that we have, let's say that we have neutrons incident upon a surface. Let's say that there are 10 to the 5 neutrons per second per centimeter squared. Okay? Fit? Fit, yes. So these are these are thermal neutrons. And they're incident on a sheet of cadmium. There's one thing you need to know, cadmium absorbs all neutrons there. None get through, ever. That's the approximation you make, always. For thermal. Yeah, for thermal. Cadmium is absorbs everything. So let's say so we have to find the find the find the number of one MeV to two MeV photons emitted per area per second. So first we have to have an understanding of what's going on in the problem. So you guys talk about what happens whenever neutrons are absorbed and stuff. Mm -hmm. Talk about those interactions. Did we talk about that in this class? Yeah. Okay. So neutrons come in and they get absorbed in cadmium. And um, now you have cadmium that is excited. So then it de excites by emitting a photon, gamma ray. Capture gammas. But they can be called. Mm -hmm. Prompt and there's delay. There. I don't know. But yeah, prompt, this, is, this is a capture gamma ray. So it's going to emit at different energies. Um, there's different probabilities for different energies. And should util is your friend on this one, they can tell you these things. And you don't give us the thickness because it's all over them. They are all absorbed instantly. Okay. Upon like cadmium has such a ridiculously huge cross section, and it's so dense that it's just instant absorption. Doesn't even matter how thick it is. It's a good stuff. It's a good assumption. Um. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Emitted per what? What is that? Saying? Per area. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sorry. Per area. Per area per second. So if you have if you have ten to the five neutrons per centimeter squared, what is the absorption per area per second? Ten to the five. So assume all absorb all absorb. So the absorption. Rate is 10 to the 5 neutrons per centimeter squared per second. Okay? So, shield util is going to give some value. We want to find the number of captures per gram. What what should you tell give on this? Is there a neutron absorption information for should you tell? I wasn't very good about documenting where I got stuff on the test. Yeah. 
You got stuck. Mm -hmm. There will be a show in Captain Evans. Yes. Oh, wow. You, you got, got stuck. Yeah, Have we ever done this in the I don't remember. No, 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 not the homework. No. Okay. You probably expect to remember this one like 195. We never did this one in 495. Well, you can do something similar with reaction to rate density. The concept's the same. Why do you think so? It's probably the best. Okay. I'm not trying to get Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm listening to you. What does it have? Can we ever do this? Ever. Does it give does it give a rank does it give a number of photons emitted or something for one to two oh, in EV? Sorry, I'm just frustrated with myself. Yeah. It's not you guys. What if you have a use four, three, three, five, two, times ten to the six. Oh, oh what four three three? Four three three five two. Times ten to the six. What are the units in that? Uh per second per gram. Per second per gram. <laughs> Alright. So We have to find the number of captures per gram. Because we want well, this looks really good. This, this is the number of this is the number of photons. So we have this value, number of photons per second per gram. So we want what we're, what we're looking for, we're wanting number of photons emitted per second. Per, se per centimeter squared per second. Okay? So, density. Is it there an area density? Yeah. Mass density? Is that what it's called? No. Uh, yeah, mass thickness or something? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's area density. Area density? Okay. That will give you the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to look it up. <laughs> okay. All right. You, I, I, can't, I can't remember where I found the... Uh, what the number you put? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember where I got my <laughs> structure. What the number of is that table? Huh? Table number C3. C3, is that? Yeah, page 450. Did they give us good values? 450. Yeah, 450. Is that what you are looking for? Oh, okay. Is there cadmium in there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine up. Okay. So is that number nine from the bottom? Yeah, so is that 1.0339? Yeah. 1.0399 is the number of capture gamma rays produced. In the zero to one. From zero to one. So you want the one to two, right? This is the numbers of gamma rays produced per neutron capture in each. So, so okay, there we go. 1.0 what? 1.039. Um, gammas emitted per capture. There we go. And this is between. Then, then we want one to two for sure. That's for one. That's zero to one. That's zero to one. One to two is point three seven two seven. Point three seven two seven. Yeah. There we go. All right. So that's so you multiply this by your capture rate and you get this is your capture rate. And you get a number. That's, That's it? One, two, yeah. Wait, what? It's easy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Do that long ago? That was, that was Sorry, just trying so, to so, out so, okay, you find in, the back, in, that, in that table you can find the number of photons. All you have to do is know that table's there. Yeah, you photons can, like, emitted. You can easily like, logically walk through that, it seems like. So. From 1 to 2 in the <coughs> per capture. And you multiply that by the number of captures per centimeter squared per second. Captures cancel, and you get the number of photons emitted and the energy range per area per second. And what table of appendix was that? That's in C3. This is why it's good to know where things are. Good job, Mohammed. <laughs> if you were to sum all the energy groups up, it would give you a ridiculous huge number per capture, wouldn't it? Wouldn't per capture it only still be one gamma emitted? Not it could be more than one. Yes. Yeah, you can excite. You can excite it and have multiple. Like if you like if you excite an electron from the ground state, you can get a cascade of, of uh, X-rays emitted from that. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. It's also a cool name. All right. You have any questions on this problem? I, I missed a step, Brian. How did you get your grand canceled? I didn't. Oh. Uh, there's a table in the back of the book that tells me the number of photons emitted per oh, capture. Oh, and we know our capture rate in neutrons per centimeter squared. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Sorry, I made it more confusing than it was. My test has all kinds of crazy marks on it. Like, I'm sorry, I messed this up. Like, I apologize. All right.